welcome back to my channel or if you are new here then welcome and thank you so much for clicking on this video today. Today I'm going to be taking you through a pregnancy Q&A. I ask questions over on my Instagram and I'm going to answer them right here. So this is a little bit different to my usual content, usually I'm taking you directly through a flow. Today I will be showing you exercises as the answer to these questions, but it won't be a flow. So a little bit about me before I get started with this Q&A today. I have a nearly eight month old baby girl named Willow. I continue doing pregnancy yoga throughout my whole pregnancy and I actually went into labour after teaching my very last pregnancy yoga class. I had a very short labour, natural birth and I really do believe that my yoga practice contributed to having such a positive birth experience. Alright, let's get started. Okay, I'm going to be reading these off my iPad today. Question 1. When can I start doing pregnancy yoga? So you can start pregnancy yoga anytime after your 12th week of pregnancy or after you have had your 12th week scan because I know for some of you that might be later than 12 weeks. If you were doing yoga before you were pregnant then you can continue your usual yoga practice until you join a pregnancy yoga class. Question 2. What should I be avoiding? And this person has said they are in the first trimester. Okay guys, I have a list for you. So in the first trimester you don't need to worry so much about what to avoid but definitely from the second trimester there are a few things you should be avoiding. Things that you definitely don't want to be doing, twists, we want to stop doing twists as soon as possible. They're just no good for the expanding uterus and our growing baby so we'll take twists out. From the second trimester you do need to be careful about lying on your back so you're not going to do any exercises that are supine. Be careful with deep stretches or deep versions of poses. Pregnancy isn't a time to be um, working on flexibility or anything like that. Stretches are all to aid relaxation rather than to um, work on our flexibility. So nothing that's too deep. We've got to remember that we have relaxin in the body and that relaxin can make joints unstable as well as cause us to overstretch if we are not careful. We would also want to avoid anything that puts too much strain through the abdominals. So Things like our full plank, they're going to be a little bit too much for most of us during pregnancy, um, so we do a modified version of plank. Question number three is safe core exercises. Okay, there are a few things that you can be doing during pregnancy to keep your core nice and strong. One of those things that I like to do is tricep dips. These are kind of like um, a pregnancy version of the chaturanga. I also like to do balancing cat. I think that's my favourite pregnancy core exercise because it's got loads of variations. You can either be doing it with um, just single arm lifts, single leg lifts, or you can be doing both at the same time. So extending the arm and the leg and then popping them back down. So there's kind of something for everyone in a balancing cat. And then another exercise that I like to do to keep the core nice and strong during pregnancy is toe taps. Um, we do these raised on our elbows so we're not lying flat on our back like we usually would. Um, and I just find that they're really like a gentle way to keep the core nice and strong. All right, next question. Someone told me stretching is bad during pregnancy. Is this true? Okay, I can see why somebody would have told you that. We do have relaxin in the body, as I've already mentioned, which can cause us to overstretch. So, simple answer, no, stretching is not bad for you. You should be doing stretching during pregnancy because it helps keep us mobile, it helps keep everything nice and open and relaxed. But, stretches should be done with caution. They should only be done to aid relaxation, to open up our hips or to stretch out through our back, things like that. So we don't want to be doing any exercises that, um, that are really deep stretches. So we definitely would be doing things like working on our splits pose during pregnancy. We also need to be careful about how long we hold stretches for. So a couple of breaths will be absolutely enough during pregnancy and then we'd move on and move on to the next stretch. Good stretches that I like to do during pregnancy are our Baddha Konasana, our cobbler's pose, which I'm showing right here. And I also like to do um, oh, the side stretches, um, anything that stretches out through the back of the body, the side of the body and through the hips and the legs, I found really, really What good. breathing exercises can help with labour? Such a good question, so good that I'm actually devoting a whole video to breathing exercises that you can do during labour, so watch this space. What can I do for back pain? Back pain is such a common pregnancy condition 
um, something that a lot of people unfortunately suffer with and it is all, again all to do with um, our joints being a little bit unstable so anything that's going to strengthen your core will help your back uh, anything that is to do with your posture so um, pregnancy we get bigger out the front and it tends to throw our center of gravity off we start to arch through our back more so anything that makes you more aware of your posture making sure you're in the correct postural alignment is really really crucial when you are pregnant so core exercises checking your posture stretching out through the back of the body and resting rest 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 if you need to rest make sure you are resting all right that's all i've got time for today i hope that this was useful and you found these answers helpful and the little exercises that i was adding into this video i hope you found them useful if you did be sure to give this video a big thumbs up so i know exactly what content you're enjoying and don't forget to hit subscribe so you never miss a post welcome to the lemon yoga family thank you so much for being here i will see you next time Bye!